What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the player of the week and doing a review of the cards and suggestions of who to get, right? So we actually did spin and I'm going to show you my spins right here right now in just a second. But there's a couple of nice players in this. Now everybody asks me every week, do the player of the week review. I think that we will have a video on what I think is going to happen with the player of the weeks uh, very, very soon. But as I said, you can always get a free spin in the event as well. Now, we actually are on our free-to-play Road to Glory account here, where we've spent zero apart from the free coins. And these are the spins that we get here, right? So you, we first up, we get Modric. Obviously, Modric is not going to be as good as the other versions that have released. But if you guys notice, right, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have noticed, right, and have you noticed that the players they're releasing now are not as good, even the player levels with the club pack Arsenal, uh, which we got and we did the video on Arteta, we'll do that as well. The players are not as good as they used to be. Does that make sense? I mean, they don't even, they sometimes don't have the skills, the levels, or whatever it is. They don't match up to previously released free cards. And I'm going to do a video on that because it was a topic that came up in the live stream as well. So we do actually get Messi as well. Now, a lot of people are asking about this Messi. I'm going to go in and show you his stats in a little bit more detail here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this Messi is very, very nice. So just before I show you Messi's stats and where I've been positioned and how he tracks up with other cards, we're just going to quickly go through the rest of the cards, right? Curtis Jones, he finally gets a fairly decent card. He doesn't have a booster, but brilliant ball control, dribbling and tight possession, all going to go to the 90. And now with Arteta as a double booster, you're going to be getting essentially a plus four to those two key stats, right? He's also got some lovely player skills. It's a pity that you can't give him flip-flap, but he does have some nice skills other than that. He doesn't have first-time shot either, but as a CMF, he's very, very decent. That can play left or uh, attacking as well. You also have Kalulu. A lot of people asking about this guy. You know that he's going to be strong as a player of the week when you've got 90-plus tackling, 90-plus speed, physical contact, jumping, and all his defensive and acceleration stats are going to be into the 80s. Very, very solid blocker interception, aerial superiority. Looks like a beast as well, in fairness. Extra front man is a small little... How would I say it? It's a small little sign that I, I don't really like extra front men as much, to be honest with you. I don't like them as much. We also have this guy, Cataldi. This guy is, is just a traditional box-to-box, -box, not really much to shout home about. Um, you know, he's got some nice skills, but yeah, we don't usually talk too much about them or the goalkeepers. Just a standard goalkeeper, although he's going to have four of his goalkeeping stats into the 90s, which is pretty decent for an attacking goalkeeper. He doesn't have a long throw, but he does have a low punt. Modric, we already got there as well. Very slow, not as rapid or not as kind of acceleration-y or excel uh, explosive um, as his older cards. I mean, the, the other cards of Modric that they've released kind of ties in, as I said, I will do a video on that uh, later on. Udagi as well. This guy is pretty decent, very fast, very rapid. Doesn't have great defensive stats. And to be honest with you, lads, there's so many good fullbacks now that are able to attack and defend, even in the GP marketplace that I don't think that you'll be using this guy too often. Same with John Stones. Pretty decent. Obviously, he gets the booster there as well of the physicality plus three. And I'm not going to overcomplicate it, lads. It's a solid card. But at this stage in the game, even if you're just starting off, there are better cards out there that you can get that are a little bit more solid. Like, build up John Stones on A form is going to be good. He's going to be getting the plus three with all his stats here, which brings his jump and physicality and stamina and defensive awareness and tackling all up into the 90 zone, which is pretty decent. Heading is nice as well. Speed, a little bit slow. He doesn't get that 80 mark, but other than that, it's a fairly solid card. Now, here's where it starts to get a bit interesting, right? So we have Gabby, okay? Now, I want to show you Gabby here a little bit more detail. Let me just switch my webcam here a sec in case I'm blocking any stats, but this Gabby, lads, is very, very solid. He's a box-to-box. -box. He looks like a beast. He's got a lovely face scan as well. He's got excellent player skills, double touch, soul control. He doesn't have flip-flap again. And this is what I keep saying. They seem to be limiting the player of the weeks by either a skill, removing a skill or taking away a skill or just not having that final skill package there that you can't train or with lots of primary uh, or lots of secondary positions that you can't train with the player of the weeks either. As you see there, like Gavi can play right wing. He can play right mid, left mid. But he can't fully play there, so he's not really going to get the, the full stat boost there when he's playing in those positions if you're using sub-tactic, right? But his stats are very solid. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, all into the 90s plus with balance 90 plus. And this is where the key for this card is. If you guys haven't tried an aggressive attacking midfielder or centre midfielder that's an attacking option, do try a player that has at least 85 aggression. It is, it is I won't say it's game-changing, but it is pretty beastly, right? We also have Victor Oshiman. Now, a lot of people are saying in the comments of my other video, 
he's broken, he's this, he's that. It's a very solid card. With Arteta, he's going to have 90 plus speed and acceleration, physically very strong, jumping very, very nice. And of course, that attacking awareness and finishing is right at the sweet spot as well. Super sub, aerial superiority, fantastic. First time shot, brilliant. It's actually a really solid goal poacher card on A form, to be honest with you. The only thing that would have made this better is if he had the booster. Now, obviously for Harry Kane as well, getting the booster. Here, we've got Striker's Instinct. I'm not a big fan of Harry Kane, lads, in the game. He's too slow and clunky. And it's going to be interesting to see because we are going to be getting new cards out. It's going to be interesting to see with these cards here, the English League attackers, if Berbatov and Burkamp, I'll do a video on that of what's coming Monday and, and, and in detail of what their stats are going to be. It's going to be interesting to see whether these tall centre forwards are ever given a little bit of dexterity or balance or technique that actually develops into the game and actually comes across in the game. The meta at the moment is always going to be, you know, small, fast, nimble, explosive uh, players. Even centre backs, sometimes, you know, the likes of Cannavaro, he's very explosive because he's small. And that's just the way the game is really, uh, you know, at the moment. But finishing is very strong, attacking awareness, ball control, kicking power. It's nice, but just a little bit slow, even though his acceleration is good. Now, we're also going to take a look at Messi. As I said, this is my 100% to free to play squad. And this is kind of the setup that we had. Uh, I'll do a video on Jorginho as well. He's quite beastly. But this Messi, lads, is a right midfielder, Roman flank. Is very, very nice. 91 acceleration, 93 balance. It's a current day Messi as well. The only thing he's lacking is speed. Everything else is phenomenal on this card. His, tr his finishing is probably a little bit too high. His tight possession is ball control driven. If you could retrain this card, lads, you could get this card pretty much exactly where you want it to be. And of course, have that speed at 85, which would have been perfection. But it's a very solid card. He's got the plus three booster to his shooting. And he's got some really nice player skills, including a super sub. Our first ever Messi super sub uh, skill. That's going to be lovely as well. One match played, no goal scored, no assist. But we only play one match towards the end of our stream. So let me know who you spun. Let me know if you did spin. And let me know what you guys think of the player of the week. I will be back very, very soon. Peace.